Hey Jeanette from Many Flints here. Hope you look good, feel good and are ready to prosper. Because in this video, I want to talk about seven ways to save more time. Because we all know time is valuable and it's one of the only assets in the world that we simply can't get back. And therefore, if you want to prosper more in life and you simply want to get more out of life while still living more of a fulfilled life, you need to make sure your time is valuable and you can actually use it in the best way possible. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you, stick with me throughout this video. And before I actually start, I saw that over 95% of you guys that are currently watching these videos aren't even subscribed yet. So if you want to see more content like this where I educate you guys and help you out with your life, please consider to hit the subscribe button and help your brother out. Anyways, with that said, let's jump into the video. By the way, this is my home haircut, so feel free to actually roast me in the comments down below because I always love those comments. Number one, regular place for items. So hey, before I actually talk about this, most likely you've actually been in this position at some point in your life. So you probably just put your keys or your phone somewhere and when it was the most crucial moment when you actually needed that particular item, you couldn't find it and it just simply frustrated you. So if you're someone that actually can relate to this, this is something that will definitely help you out. Therefore, if you're someone that can never find the most key items that they're looking for and therefore you spend a lot of time searching from them, the best thing you can do is to actually allocate them at the same spot every single single time. So most likely throughout your house, throughout school or office, wherever you are, you always have standard spots that you always visit. And therefore by simply putting it at the same spot every single time, so maybe next to your bed, next to your desk, or maybe even at the same place in your room, you can actually avoid spending a lot of time looking for those items. And therefore you always know where you can find them. And this way you can save some precious time. Number two, don't multitask. So hey, most likely you might be a bit confused. Why are you telling me to not multitask while I'm actually watching a video where I can save more time? Well, the reason for this is that some researchers actually argue that if you're gonna multitask, you might lose up to 40% in productivity. And just like Nobel Prize winner and economist Paul Krugman once said, productivity isn't everything, but in the long run, it is almost everything. And unfortunately for most of us, we can't actually leverage money to buy more time and more freedom, just like I could have done if I kept most of my money in Bitcoin when it was $2,000 and now it's around $21,000. Forgive me cryptocurrency fans, I'm not perfect. So we all make mistakes. But besides that, if you're someone that actually wants to save more time, you need to actually leverage your productivity level as much as you can. So therefore try to avoid multitasking because it actually has been proven that we as men aren't even that good at multitasking. And therefore it's better if we simply just focus on one thing and try to do it as best that we can. And then obviously after we finish that particular thing, we can move on to the next thing. And therefore we can be more time efficient and at the same time more productive. And this will allow us to actually save more time to do the things we actually want to do. Number three, relearn how to focus. So now you understand that you sh probably shouldn't multitask, but most likely, even though you're simply focusing on one thing, you're also going to have another thing in your mind. And that's something that will also hold you back. And therefore you need to relearn how to focus. So this tip isn't particularly a very practical tip, but it's more about your mindset because you need to let go of all of those other simple tasks and need to focus on your main thing that you're currently focusing on. And this way you can give your all at this certain task which will actually allow you to prosper and be more efficient and therefore simply save more time. And hey, I understand that most likely this is what you're thinking. <laughs> so you many influencer guys have a joke man thing, yeah? You think you can get away with all of this mindset stuff without even giving us some kind of practical analysis. Well, it ain't gonna happen, boy. So hey, you asked for it. And therefore, this is how you can actually relearn to focus on one thing. And this brings me to number four, write it down. And do you know what? Most guys will actually neglect this because they're looking for the easy way out and they're looking for some kind of magical solution. And do you know what? That doesn't even exist. The closest thing that I ever found to a magical solution is to actually simply write everything down. And the reason for this is that it allows you to clear your mind and therefore you can simply focus on the thing you want to focus on at the moment. And trust me, I've actually been doing this for three, four months now and I definitely feel that I'm so much more productive. But I'm someone that doesn't actually write it down on some piece of paper. I actually bought myself a whiteboard and I'm writing down all of the goals everything that I want to achieve and this way I can actually put some dates on it and it allows me to hold myself accountable to actually get things done and meet those deadlines. Number five, stop procrastination. So hey, procrastination isn't particularly bad because hey, you didn't do it and therefore you have so much more energy left and you might even feel a bit relieved because you know, yeah, you're gonna do it the next day. But the thing with this is that the thing you actually wanted to do is not gonna work out 
unless you do. Because when you procrastinate, your problems grow, your misunderstanding multiplies. And do I even have to talk about trash? Because if you're not gonna take the trash out, your house will look like a landfill. And hey, if someone wants to come over, you got a good excuse because you're self-isolating, right? So if you're someone that wants to save more time, by you simply tackling the problem when it's a small thing, you prevent actually putting a lot of effort and time into it later down the road. So it's always best to actually do the thing while it's still small, than actually procrastinating and allowing the problem to become bigger and then decide, should I actually tackle it or should I do it another day? Number six, personal time wasters. So what are personal time wasters? Well, to be quite honest, it depends on each individual. Some people take a lot of time when they're cooking something, while other people simply take a lot of time getting out of their bed and hey that's me and you also have people that take a lot of time and are quite indecisive when it comes to choosing something out of their wardrobe even though they have plenty of items we all have our own imperfections and therefore you need to find out what your own personal time waster is some personal time wasters are things that we genuinely enjoy and therefore you need to ask yourself is this something that i genuinely enjoy doing and therefore i don't particularly mind spending more time on it or is this one of those personal time wasters you simply want to get rid of if you do put some strategies into place to actually do this. Number seven, analysis paralysis. So this is one of those things that I always used to do. So I always used to actually analyze everything, I used to look at the best outcomes before I actually started to do something. And hey, and technically this sounds amazing and this is probably the best thing to do because obviously this way you know what the best solution is and how to tackle this. And to be quite honest, I do understand the logic behind this. But what I actually realized is that if you're constantly doing this, you're actually wasting a lot of time, which you could have used while actually tackling the problem or going after the thing you want because you shouldn't only learn before you actually go and do something the best way to actually do something is to actually learn as you go so obviously you're gonna make mistakes but that's completely fine it's part of it and if you're not gonna start and you're gonna overanalyze everything most likely you're gonna actually paralyze yourself by too much knowledge and too many outcomes and you end up not beginning at all so take it from me that it's always better to actually start and learn while you go and to make some mistakes because that's completely fine than overanalyze something and paralyze yourself and not ending up doing it so you better listen to me and go get things done because this is probably the best advice i can give to all of the individuals that i've actually experienced throughout my life and i'm not that old i'm only 20 years old anyways so that pretty much sums it up for this video and i hope this was very valuable and allows you to actually prosper and become more productive and save more time and do the things you love and therefore if you enjoyed this content and want to see more content like this please consider to the subscribe button and help your brother out because by you simply subscribing you're really helping the channel out and i can put out more great content like this Anyways, with that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.